and welcome to my first scrapbook process video. I'm going to use the scrapbook generations kits that I have. What I've decided to do is rather than just let them sit there and hope I use them up someday, I'm going to pick the one, the layout that I like from each and do them and put them in a book so all I have to do is put down photos. Okay, so the first one I'm going to use is this one and let's get started. So what I've done while we were away was I created uh, templates for the photos. Since I'm making these in advance, I wanted to have the placeholders so I didn't have to hold on to every, you know, picture from the kit. And I'm going to stick them down just using a single glue dot. That way I can take them off very easily later. I don't know if I got a bum set of glue dots or what, but these have to be the least sticky thing I own. And then I've also toyed around with the idea of the layouts that I think are too girly for my family or a boy. I thought about um, putting them in a book and giving them to a girlfriend who, you know, just had a girl. That way she can kind of just place and go. If you've had a, a baby, you know how stressful sometimes those first couple weeks or months are. You don't get anything done besides caring for the baby. So I thought that would be a nice pr present. And if she already knows what the size the photos have to be, right, makes it even easier. That's why I labeled them for her or me. That way, see what I mean about the glue dots not being sticky? This one came off already. Just want to be sure these are lined up. I always try my best and end up being just a little bit off each time anyway.
just making sure you can see this side. This is going to be the, the side that has the little sayings. So I want to pick out which ones. They have obviously recommended ones. And of course I cut the wrong side of the paper. These are the ones I wanted to use. So we'll have to improvise. That was the only thing I've done. Two or three of these. No, well, maybe two, maybe three now. And I always seem to cut the wrong side of the paper or cut it going the wrong way. Like if the stripes are supposed to be vertical, I always seem to end up cutting it horizontal. <laughs> So I think for now that that's going to be my finished project. I was going to try to get them both in, but I will include a picture at the end. The only things I did not do is, you'll see these flowers here. I probably won't do those at all. Obviously this one I put the journaling, journaling card, the cut apart here. And I did leave it open so that when you pulled this out you could slide your photo underneath. But what I'll probably do then is use some kind of um, heart embellishment once I actually put my pictures down in those places. And then you're supposed to put some journaling spots here, but I'm not sure I like it on top of this uh, floral paper. So I may actually use one of these spots for journaling, and if I can't get it in a two by two, I may use a whole um, four by two. So that was my first process video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will work on, you know, lighting and angles as I go along. So if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. And until next time, guys, keep scrapping. Bye.